Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. I have a brand new HP 15 laptop. Um, it, the exact model is 15-DY 1731 MS. I just took it out of the box, fired it up, fired it up. It ships uh, with Windows 10 in S mode. I'm going to take care of that and switch it over to Windows 10 Home. And I want to open it up and see what kind of upgrade options we have. It comes with 128 gigabyte SSD, 8 gigabytes DDR4 memory. I want to see if there's a, another expansion slot, see if we can bump it up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's not a bad little laptop. It's pretty thin. Um, Keyboard is a little spongy for my liking, but it works good. It has a couple of high-speed USB ports over here on this side. Of course, your power cord. Over on this side, we have an HDMI port, a C-type USB, um, power light, and it has a hard drive activity light, or drive activity light, which I kind of always like to see. <clears throat> has a regular standard HD display, 1366 by 1768. Uh, Nano Edge, which is kind of nice. They're getting... A lot of them are coming like this, um, but Acer, HP, Asus, Lenovo, they're shipping a lot of these lower priced laptops in S mode, so I always like to put it in regular mode so we can install whatever we want. But basically, I just want to open it up and see if we can do any upgrading on it, make it a little bit better. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so I failed to mention that this, this model, it's a brand new model. It does come with the 10th generation Core i3, Intel Core i3 pro processor, the 1005G1 processor. It's not bad. Um, so like I say, it's a brand new model. Now on the bottom here, to open it up, there's only two exposed screws. One right here, and there's one right over here on the opposite side. And they're the same length, but we have to remove these little rubber bumpers on the, on the bottom side here to get to the other screws, because there's three screws under each one of these. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and carefully, with a very pointy little tool, get that little guy started there. Try not to scratch your brand new laptop. Let me peel that off. Now this is the front side. The one in the back here is a little bit thicker. For obvious reasons, so we're going to get that out of there. Just like that. This one is thicker. And I've already removed the screws, didn't want to bore you with that, but there's three screws under each of these pads, rubber bumpers. This screw and this screw, the ones closest to the hinge, are a little bit heftier, so for obvious reasons, because of the hinges. But all the other screws are the same length, but this one and this one are, are different, so you want to make sure you put those back in the right holes. So the bottom pan comes off, but we have to get it started from the top side. Now the best tool I can use on this because there's not any really wiggle room here. There's a seam right along where the palm rest meets this silver part here. We have to get into this seam here to get it started. So I'm going to take my little trusty little tool here. I'm going to start along the front edge here carefully. Get that in there. Don't be quiet on it. <clears throat> Just kind of get it started. Same over here. Because everything, the motherboard and all that, is all mounted to the palm rest on the bottom side here. So now that we have it started, we're going to close the lid. We'll get over here. You can see how it's started here, but don't just be ripping it off, please don't do that. Just gotta kind of work it. Very careful and patient. If you have to flip it back over, break it loose a little more, please do that. Sometimes along the back by the hinges, it's, it's a little stubborn. Get 
And you can see once it starts, give it just a little gentle pressure, not too much though. It should pop right up in one nice piece. So of course we got our battery um, and good. It comes with eight gigabytes of DDR4. It's DDR4-3200, believe it or not, which is good. There's an uh, empty slot here so we can quickly add another eight gigs and make it 16 gigs of RAM. Um, you could put a slower speed in there like 2400 or 2666. We'll just clock down the run at that speed instead of the 3200. Um, it does have an M2 slot here, as you can see, for an NVM E drive, but in this case, we just got an M2 SATA SSD, 128 gigs, so we could easily make that bigger. I just want to see what kind of upgrade options I had. So on this one model, I am going to double the RAM to 16. I'm going to bump this up to 250 gig um, uh, M2 SSD. And they don't have a, you know, they, they don't have a place to mount a two and a half inch standard drive over here. You can see it's kind of there. This is probably, this is the connector for it right here. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. But if you get in here doing stuff, poking and pop, prying around, make sure you disconnect the battery. You're going to have to remove it. There's only uh, one, two, three, four, just five screws. And you can pull the battery right out. Before you start getting in there, don't want to short anything out. So I just wanted to see again, like what kind of options we we had. It's not a bad little laptop from HP. Uh, it is, it is a touch screen, of course. So hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.